and welcome back to the You Up podcast. I'm Jordana Abraham. And I am Jared Freed. It is so good to be back here with you, Jordana. How are you? I mean, we don't we can't even do pleasantries right now. We're going to get right into the episode. Yeah, we've got what you guys have all been waiting for. Yes. From We're, the uh, well, I don't know. Do, I, do people like this? I think so. Do, is this uh, I've heard a lot of good. Yeah, yeah Jorge, I haven't heard anything negative about um, what we've done here. Right. I've heard a lot of positive feedback of like, oh, it's been cool to hear the process. It, we're mixing it's, it up. Little mix up. Yeah. Uh, so I went on the date. Yes. And um, now you're married. Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're uh, <laughs> married. Thank the you. Dream. Yeah, the podcast is over. This is the last episode. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I went on the date. Great. I had a last great night. time. We're, I, we're recording this ahead of time. You we're, went on the date last night. Went on the date last fresh. night. Fresh. It's fresh. It is very fresh. But we want to get to. My date is going to come on the show. She is virtually here. Virtually here. Um, and this is like, uh, you know, I think this is really cool as someone, especially who's not either of you, um, <laughs> just because I think you never really get a true like breakdown of your date from the other person in a in a realistic way. And I'm going to speak to her first and then I'm going to speak to both of you and we're just going to break down the date. Yeah, I think. And I've uh, look, I'm going to start by saying I had a great time. Yes. And she's very nice, and I enjoyed our conversation. And the, you know, we're gonna go through. But that's my initial. If you're wondering out there, right. I got a lot of nice DMs. Good luck on the date tonight. It felt like the you up community was my big sister, or mom. Like, have fun tonight, Jared. It was very <laughs> cute. Well, I wish uh, I wish there was like a pre prom where we could like set you up with like you know pictures and a corsage right. and like we could all the whole you up community could collectively wave away the prom limo. That would make more <laughs> sense than someone who doesn't know what's going on here would think. It actually felt right. that way. So I appreciate the, you know, the you up community. I was, I was nervous for you. I, um, I was nervous for you because I was thinking about myself. If I, if I had volunteered, I would have been very nervous if it was me. So I could feel I I put myself in your position. I was nervous. I do feel a little bit like, the, a weight has been lifted since the date is over? No, I felt a little bit like the puppet of the you up community. Like, you know, a little okay. bit like I was... Objectified? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. A piece far. of meat? A little bit, yeah. Well, because, you know, this is experiment along with... Like, I want I, I've asked you to ask Nora, who is uh, my lovely date... Um, to like be hard on me. Yeah. I want you to question her to get so to before we get into the interview with Nora, who we went on the I went on the date with we went on the date with. <laughs> I feel like we, I was uh, I was there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um I'm asking you to like I want there's a little bit of like curiosity on my end of like, let's hear the review of Jared on a date. Right. And and I wasn't I don't think I was on, in my opinion. I don't think I was like playing a character. I was myself. I was there to be on a date. Right. I have my review. I think like most of my review is how we, you know, I think looking back, like it was like, okay, how, where we went on the date, there's things that I have like opinions on. Right. How we went about choosing which email to go with, uh, I think is interesting now having now, gone on the date. Right. Um, but let me make sure that I say, and I'm not saying this because I don't mean it. Nora's an awesome person. Like, she, easy hang, awesome person, fun, beautiful, yes. smart, all those things. And I, I want to make sure that, like, that, right. that which, that's which, said before anything because I'm, I'm, I'm I, I am appreciative that she came on the date at all. Right. Because it's hard for her. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm on this thing talking about my, I say shit every day. I'm, I'm an idiot. And knowing you know? that so, we're going to talk about the date, which right. is not an easy thing. Um, that being said, uh, would you go on a set? Would there be a, will there be a date due? I'm sure the audience wants. That's the not audience my, primary from my question. end. So you're gonna ask. I think I'm gonna ask her, of course. Without yes. me there, yes. uh, to only be fair, I think it was more of a friend vibe than it was a let's go on a second date vibe. Okay. That, and and that's incredibly, if I'm being honest, incredibly hard for me to say. I'm sure because it's hard because and I told you this before we taped, we didn't have each other's number, and. We had this goodbye at the end of the date. We gave each other a hug and went on our two different directions down the street. Yes. Um, and I did have this like thought in my brain. I, I went and got pizza afterwards because I was I hadn't eaten. And 
I had two drinks. We both had two drinks. We both, you know, hung out for a couple hours. Uh, yeah, seven Stand, to nine. Right? You know, Sounds standard. Standard first yeah. date thing. Um, but when we separated, I did have this like need to like make sure I got. I sent a t- I like you I wanted to like okay. put yeah that I did okay. Do you feel that way after every date? It made me I guess so. It made me kind of reevaluate my post date process a little bit. Right. Of like even if I had the best time of my life, Jared, hold it back. I you know, I think that's m- don't maybe text something after the I don't date. I don't know, maybe not to uh, create a rule because I'm a I'm a texter as you know. Yes. I'll text. I, I think the rule as someone who's been on dates, both with people I've been on second date with dates with and people who have not gone on second dates with, I think if there's no intention of going out again, I don't want to text after. I and I understand that you cannot can you understand from the I male can understand end, why you'd want to send one. And also how confusing this might be. Mm-hmm. I was ghosted. I mean, it's, I, it's just in general that ne- you have to be okay with someone saying that about you if you did that after a first date. I don't write, but I think you and I both agree, and many people, many normal people agree, that's not ghosting. Right. I think normal, that's not to say, internet commenter, non emotional person on the internet would would, yes. would agree with us. If right. you didn't, if we went on a date, I had a good time, you didn't text me, I text you, you don't answer, yes, then I'm saying you ghosted me. Okay. But if you, if neither of us text each other, that is not ghosting. Right. I agree with you. I to- I'm saying. And that is my preference. I'm saying when it came to my animalistic, what am I going to do after this date? I did feel weird afterwards because I didn't have her number. The way this was set up, no pictures, no number, just you, me with the right. rose on my brooch. Right. You know? Anonymity. <laughs> Anonymity. Little bit, little, was, like the real bachelor. It was right. very much the real, like she knew me coming in and, and walked right up to me, which was great because I was just waiting. I'm Right. And she was a little late. But I'm not, yeah, I know. I know. Okay, we were, we're texting gonna... before she got there. Yeah, you yeah. were wondering if she stood you up. Well, I was saying if she had stood me up, what a power play funny <laughs> story. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What a funny. What if jokes I had come on, back? Jokes on you? I, I, I mean, guess so. What if I had come back and the story was I got stood up? I kept thinking that like what how funny this episode would be would be to be like everyone would be like, so how was it? And I'm like, she never showed. She never showed. She never showed. It was like some weird you other altar. podcast to fuck with me. You know, like, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. but I know here's the thing. I don't think you would be like devastated. If I would you, laugh at yeah. it. I would, I right. would definitely be like, that's f- the funniest Plus, outcome. It'd be funny because it's like, oh, you went through the trouble of entering a contest just to stand someone up. I mean, <laughs> like, that, who's the joke on? That's what I'm saying. I guess so. Yeah. But I guess it would be even fu- to me. It's even funnier from the self deprecating point of view of like, you set up a whole contest to go on a date with you, and then no one showed. It's right. like, what a well, sad moment. There's no entry fee. If that happened, we'd have to charge an entry fee. Right. Next time, From you know, just to cover the costs. Right. So it was, uh, so again, so leaving the date, my animalistic nature would be like, I was like kind of weirded out that I couldn't text and be like, hey, I just want to let you know I had fun. Right. Hey, I just want to let you know, like, uh, you know, I hope you got home safe and all those things that I would text and mean. Right. But also maybe they're for they maybe they're more for you than they are for the other person is what we're learning. Fair. That's completely right? fair. Again, I don't I I'm not saying that makes you a bad guy. I'm not saying like that's not done. I'm just saying what my preference would be. And I'm gonna ask her what her preference would have been if she, if you had her number. And I can't wait. <laughs> um but I would also say, you know, to make this not just about it, I don't know how people are listening to this. I hope people are taking things away for their own life. Yes, that's the uh, whole point. Right. right. The whole point is to be entertained. Yeah. You guys get to watch, you know, you know, double Jared go on a first date. Um, but also, I don't know, you can take you inside the mind of people on a first date. The other side. Yeah. You know, male, female, whatever you identify as. You can hear someone talk about. Yeah, we're going to get date. your both of your confessionals to an extent right. as if there was a real dating show. Yes. And that was the other thing about a date. I kept thinking of The Bachelor and like when they talk on those first dates, it it, it is like it, it's tough to like get into it as far as like getting. I don't, I don't know. I was like, I kept wondering how deep could we get 
knowing that this, this was, was on the and the, was the way it was yeah. set up. That and was like you'd my be discussing it and breaking it down live. Right. Is she holding back because of that? I was wondering that. Right. And and not to say she I felt like someone was holding back. I, I don't know. I was like thinking like levels into like first date. Would I think that way if we were just on a normal first date set up via a dating app? Like, right. And I, you know, I was like, I, I wouldn't think that way. I, mm -hmm. I And so it was interesting from that angle. I'm happy we went through the exercise. Same. I mean, I'll, well, well, I'll let you know after I speak to her. Yeah, so, how happy we so are. So should I leave the room? Do you want Do you want to leave the room? Do you want to say hi and then you'll leave the room? I'll say hi and then, and then we'll okay. leave the room right, so we let's don't bring, let's sneak bring up in. on Nora. So she, she doesn't think that you just left town. <laughs> <I know. right? laughs> Jared's done with the podcast now. Look what you've done. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hi, Nora. Hi, Nora. How's it going? I'm Jordana. We haven't um, met yet. I'm so excited. You to guys didn't go on a date also? Not. No. <laughs> That's a different episode. Right. <laughs> we want to introduce uh, uh, Nora. Thank you for coming on. I'm so happy to be here. What's up? We're, we're pumped to have you here. Um, I, we want to say thank you for doing this whole crazy thing um, and coming on the show, but also thank you for going on a date with me. I had a great time. I, I wanted to just say that. Um, and uh, I'm gonna leave the room. I'm gonna yeah. leave the quest, cause I'm gonna leave. I, we wanna make sure you feel comfortable talking yes. about it. I'm gonna ask you some questions about the date. And, and Jared is encouraging you to let it be as honest as you could possibly be. Understood. Don't worry about hurting his feelings. If that, was, if that was a concern of yours. <laughs> Does that work for you? Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, cool. so I'm going to leave, and then uh, you guys... And then we'll bring them back in okay. after. Okay. Dora, um, I'm so excited to talk to you in person. I think you're the first person that we've had on this on this show, you know, that can really talk about a first date experience with Jared. Um, so, so, you're Nora. What do you do? How old are you? Yeah. Give me, give me your, give me your totally. little uh, mini summary. Yeah, um, I am 28. I'm turning 29 in like a month, so I felt like I rounded up in my, you know, my email to <laughs> get me, get me in the window. <laughs> but um, I live in Brooklyn. I've been here for like the past six years. I am a data analyst at a nonprofit. I do um, ceramics as my like main hobby. Do a lot of pottery. Do like craft fairs and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's, that's my that's little spiel. So what, what was appealing to you about the idea of going on a date with Jared? Like, I mean, when you entered this, was your grand, your great, well, your, your grandma loved him. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, my whole family okay. was very in my mom was like, okay. yes, I'm absolutely coming on the date. Like she was <laughs> very excited. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, I, I'm a person who crushes easily. I think I'm like, Okay. I can I can see the good in people and I'm like, oh, they're so sweet. And I see their like heart, e even though I'm sure there's lots of uh, reasons why someone would be like, why would why would you have a crush on this podcast host? I, I was like, well, obviously <laughs> I would. I don't know. I just do. <laughs> um, OK, I love it. I love it. You say you crush easily. Yeah, I think so. OK. All right. So. We we cho chose you for the date. Um, we're you you get to the date. What are your impressions? First impressions of the place of Jared? Like how how what's what are your first thoughts? I was late. I couldn't find the place. It was in the basement. Uh, I was already like ten minutes late, and then I think I ended up being like twenty minutes late. So I was very much flustered. Um, but I was very you know. Pleased to see Jared. Very cute in person. Um, okay. Felt like, I don't know, I just was kind of came in with this is kind of weird. And he was like, yeah. And I think that that kind of got it started. But the bar was interesting. I feel like we had some nice kind of bossa nova music playing and <laughs> had some good <laughs> conversations about the live, the live music. Um, Did you feel like the live music was a lot or you or it was fine? Like, was that an ideal date setting for yeah, you? Or? I mean, I think that I 
it wasn't as distracting as I thought it might be. Um, but I was looking at the other direction, and I think Jared had the view of the band, so I thought maybe uh, he was having a different experience than me in terms okay. of <laughs> what right. was what was happening with the live music. But yeah, I would say probably ideally not right by the band for the first date. Okay, it was okay. And what did you? How did you feel like the date went? I mean, I had a great time. I feel like I really enjoyed talking to Jared and. I feel like I go on a lot of dates where the person isn't a great conversationalist. Okay. And I feel like Jared, you know, talks to people for a living. It was just like very right. easy. I felt like I didn't have to be so focused on, oh God, like what is going to be said? What's happening? Like whatever. It okay. just felt, so he, felt nice. So he was like leading the conversation yeah. a lot. Like kind yeah, of and like, I think, um, made sure there were no awkward pauses yeah exactly and had good questions and I felt like you know mm -hmm. it's an interesting uh power dynamic with like I mean I'm not I'm not like a a huge follower I feel like I know some things about him but like I know a lot more about him than he knew about me <laughs> so right. I felt like it's a little bit of an imbalance for sure yeah I, I I tried to at least give give a lot quickly about who I was okay. I hope <laughs> But you would, you would say comparatively, he's like um, a better date, a better first date than yeah. than most. I would say, I would okay. say yes. I I definitely like definitely had a much better time than I've had on other first dates, mm -hmm. just in terms of like. And what about his? What about the age gap? Because you, so he's like ten years older than you, right? I mean, I have I have a date tomorrow with a, someone who's thirty nine, so I guess I don't really okay. care. <laughs> Um, oh, so you have a date. You haven't canceled the date tomorrow. No, so, I, I okay. think I'm gonna so still, he, you know, the guy already bought the movie tickets. I feel like. <laughs> oh wow! Is it like a second date? It's a second date. With yes. Okay. Second. Wow. That well, that date sounds pretty promising. Um, what movie are you seeing? Sorry. I'm gonna see the Emma Stone Poor Things. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so you you go on dates. You're a, dating. I'm a dater. You're a dater. I'm I'm a yes. recent dater. I feel like the the past maybe two years I've been like, I'm doing the apps. I'm going. I've done a lot of first dates. I I actually did the thing where I like kept a spreadsheet this year, and I think Jared was my twenty third first date this year. Twenty third first date. That's impressive. So that's like you're about a date every other week. Yeah. <laughs> I would say overall, well, right? Yeah, and some, you know, definitely went in waves because then, you know, sometimes something would stick and there would be a few months where I was going on no first dates, et cetera. So there were some weeks right. there where I was on many first dates. Got it. Okay. And then did you feel like there was like a romantic connection or what did you, like, what was your feeling on the Yeah, I mean, I think that there was, vibe? at least to me, there was definitely like a friendship connection like I felt like we could talk about tv and things where like we thought what each other was saying was funny and enjoyed the conversation I would say like it would be hard for me to say I, that yeah I think just like the whole the whole thing makes it a little bit hard to feel real a little forced yeah <laughs> right I could see that. So that's so. What would you give the dates? Scale of one to ten. Oh my gosh, ten is like, Honestly, like you're getting married. I don't want to be like this because I do feel like I do. I want uh, Jared and I would like you to be as critical as you possibly can. I know. I mean, I know you guys want me to, <laughs> but like, you have to understand. I go on like the dates I've been on have been bad. Like there are a lot of people okay. out there who are really bad at dating. <laughs> Just bad at like conversations yeah. or bad at etiquette. Like what? Like what is he so much better at than anyone yeah, else? Yeah, I think that like just being having a high EQ and like understanding how the other person okay. is feeling in the space. Um, that would be right. like my main critique of most guys that I think Jared has under control. Um, okay. But yeah, so I don't know. Like, I would say yeah. Do you feel like that anything that there is anything that wasn't a match? Like. Well, I think that there are things I could think of knowing Jar Jared's insights into him a little bit from, like, listening to the podcast. Like, there are things I could list that would be, like, yeah, I could see why this wouldn't work. But based on last night, like, I would be... If you had just met, right? Yeah, I would be like, okay. hell yeah, I want to go on a second date. Like, that's awesome. Um, this was really Got fun. It. I love talking to him. Like, this was this was great. Um 
but yeah. But what about like the what about the things that you know about him based on being a listener of the show? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm really I, trying to get you to say something negative. Yeah, I think that like I'm <laughs> I'm maybe I'm maybe like not a like fun girl. You know, like I think I'm a little okay. bit boring. Not. I mean, you you applied to this to this date. I, I think say this was you're very boring, out of but... character for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the kind of thing I'm like why did I you know why did I do this um but yeah like are you I'm happy like, you did it I'm glad I did it because it's a great story okay. but I do feel right. like it was stressful for me and I don't I like I don't post on social media for like fear of judgment so like putting myself out there in this way was definitely like I didn't really think it through all the way I don't think <laughs> <laughs> so like um what what was it that I was gonna say? Uh, oh, what what about it? Oh yeah, like I just like go to bed early, you know, and like okay. don't like go out. I don't so know. You, right. So you might not be like a complete match, yeah. Generally, but you're saying you had a really good time. Exactly. Okay. How did the date end? Um, we had a couple drinks. We were there for like two hours, and then he was like you good? I was like, I'm good. <laughs> and then, uh, we like walked out. He was like, this was really fun. Say hi to your mom. <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'll think of my takes for the podcast. He was like, Oh God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I didn't think of very many takes just that it was, yeah, it was nice. It was, it was totally, totally, uh, a pleasant two hours, you know? Right. Okay, that's great. Um, that's great to hear. So um, I guess we could bring Jared back now. Um, but thank you so much. I mean, like, he'll, we, I'm going to go over the date with both of you, too. Yeah, I'm interested back, to this was, hear what he remembers. Well, I feel like well, I don't... Well, I have another question, actually, yeah. too. So let's say, okay, let's say, so Jared didn't have your number. If if you went on a date with a guy and he didn't let's he has your number in this type in this hypothetical scenario but he doesn't want to go out again would you want him to text you after saying I had a great time uh hope you know thanks for tonight or something if he like if he didn't actually want to go out would you want to hear from him either way um yeah I think in there it sort of depends on how the date went I feel like in a situation where the conversation was flowing and like it wasn't clearly a rough time but you know I guess people have different experiences and situations but if I felt like it was night like a nice time I think I'd appreciate a like it wasn't a match Text to after. me but I've definitely had dates where I'm like that wasn't fun and I could tell the other person wasn't having fun and then like there's no text and I'm like valid I don't feel like texting either <laughs> I'm saying they're like they're not texting to say not a match for me. They're just texting to say had a great time. Oh, they're just like oh like like they're just like a home okay. Yeah, yeah. I I'd say like generally, in my experience, that people do that, and I I'm happy to have it done. I don't think I've ever judged someone for not doing it, but okay. If so, you're you're for it. I'm for it. I think like a I think a either night of or next morning like that was fun nice to meet you i'm i'm i think that's good okay i stand corrected well Jer again, jared welcome what, back well um, <laughs> it's good to be back yeah. um uh, how okay so jared, i am my takeaway is that you are a well above average date well above that i'll take it well above I'll average thank you yes. thank you i appreciate far that. better than and nora has been on 23 dates this year 23 dates this year. And you, I would, Jared, what, top 10%? First dates. I mean, first dates. Many yeah. more. But <laughs> I, you said you were like on your dating grind yeah. a little bit, but I, I didn't get the number. No. I didn't realize. I think that's impressive that you're I'm in just the, the number. Top, you're, no. in the, you're in the top <laughs> echelons. Okay, good. Okay. I, not the best. All right. So that was one thing okay. I found out. You're, you're a great dater. Uh, I'm okay. You, you, you have high EQ. Oh, good. Fill okay. the space. Um, so I'm not. None of that was. I was surprised about. I would imagine that that would be the case. Um, another thing I found out is that Nora has another date tomorrow night. So your date must have not been. I that think incredible. I knew that. I did. Okay. I did say so that. It, she's told me on the date, and that was a little bit like in. I, I remember you said it's a third date. Second date. I, it's a second date, Sorry. but I are, I did tell him about someone who I. I'm going on a third date with as well. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> okay. So that is that's an interesting. That's uh, interesting. You didn't mention that. I didn't. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I would say 
I would say on, on a normal first date, I wouldn't have done that. But, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm talking to the you up people. I want to, I want to talk about my dating life. <laughs> right. That was kind of a, well, that was a little bit of, we were, I thought we had a very nice back and forth. I thought we had very nice conversation. Um, we got into family, we got into work, got into New York City stuff, living arrangements, kind of normal first date banter. You, you being the expert, you you know, 23 dates, I'm sure you, you tell me, Nora. But I, it's um, it de definitely you did mention like the, the other date that week. And I was like and I was like, maybe that was like a little bit of a I'm letting him know, like, you know, I'm going to I'm, I'm talking to you as a little bit you up guy a little bit. And right. And but that sometimes does happen with me on dates where I'll talk with someone. They know that I'm interested in the topic of dating and relationships. Right. So it comes up where it's like we're almost talking together as two single people. Are you giving her advice about these other days? <laughs> no, like, oh, I, I don't think so. Okay. I hope I didn't come yeah. off as like, let me tell you what are to you, do about these Are guys. you a little relieved to hear she's got other dates? Does it make you feel like less pressure? Um, there's no relief to that. I guess that's did not you, the feeling. Did you it's think it was rude? Not at all. But I did <laughs> think it was, um, a little bit of a letting, you know, like I got other things going on and this, you know, this could just be one weird night that I emailed in and, right. you know, and, and, and she mentioned her grandmother knew about it. So like, I, <laughs> like, which I thought was very funny and, and and uh, made me, you know, happy in a way. I'm like, that's nice. Right. Um, but you're also like, I'm like, oh, maybe this is just seen as like this wild thing that came up to end my my year, which it is. Yeah. I, I do understand that. That's so. the vibe I'm getting. I mean, I, for both of you, I think I'm getting that there was a strong friendship vibe. It was an easy conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and then both of you, I think there's a sense, like a few things that maybe like, weren't the match necessarily, but that you had a really, both had a really good time talking to each other. Yeah. I, I that's how I kind of saw it. I, and I also thought I, I was, I, I want to give a plug to Seville, okay. which is the restaurant that we went to a bar restaurant. It Seville that we or the Seville. What is it? Is it the Seville Seville? It's in a hotel, not easy to find. Um, okay. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> not, not easy. And, not easy to find. I would say it's more, th what's it called? The Seville. I, I want to hear what you thought of the venue. I To me, it rang more. It might be better for your Thursday night date than it was for our date. Is, yeah, was it my felt a little, assessment. a little definitely intimate next to each other, close. Like, yeah, I don't know. Right. It was very. It, I think. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It was yeah. It was definitely like trying to be swanky in a way that felt kind of yeah, like oh we're it's date night or something versus like coffee or something like that. Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, we how had, many drinks did you guys have? We both had two. Okay. Um, and there was like Spanish music being played like within five inches of us, <laughs> and it was like <laughs> tough to not. Which was nice because it kind of gave us something to like, you know, talk about that wasn't just us. Right, you could make fun of something together. Right, okay. and then like the the clientele was just very hotelly. <laughs> I don't know if that explains it. I, right. Nora, did you feel that way? Yeah, I, I mean, I agreed that it was fun to be able to sort of do some people ob observation <laughs> as part of the experience. Um, right. But yes, that it didn't feel like a your average New York bar on a Tuesday. Uh -huh. Right. And listen, this is a, it's a nice bar. It's a high end bar. It just I don't think it's served to like, first of all, Nora mentioned the couch that we were sitting on. I wouldn't have chosen for us a couch situation where we sit next to each other and not across from each other. Agreed. And That's a little intimate for a first date. It was intimate and also like not, you know, it's a, it's tough to be comfortable that way. Like, I don't know how you felt. I, I, they sat me down. They were like reserve table, gold thing that says reserve. And I sat down and I was like, I'm not. I, I and I, and they also. I, gold, I think if we, gold rope. Gold rope. Yeah, there was a red rope when you walked in. I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like, 
So it, again, I know they they did a very nice thing. So the Seville, the people there reached out. One of the women who listens to the podcast, she came over to me before Nora got there and was like, you know, very nice and we're happy to have you. We're excited. We want to. But then it made it feel like eyes are on us a little bit right. from the restaurant. Okay. Like, I wish we had if if I was to do a do over, I should have chosen the place. And then that could have been part of Nora's assessment of me, too. Right. And the date, because I think what you choose kind of is a lot about. Right. Well, that's why The Bachelor is weird, because it's like. You know, you're in these all these spots, but who knows what the actual person would have would have chosen for your get to know you. Right. Dates. You're in a helicopter landing on a yacht and it's like this guy can't know how to get on he's the public tub, bus. He's yeah. a hot tub repairman. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> usually not doing that. Right. Um, OK. I think um, I mean, I think I got it's this sounds like the most standard date that I've heard of in a bit. Sounds like again, aside from the fact of the way that you guys met each other, which was which was through this weird contest that we put on, um, <laughs> this would have gone down as like fairly average date, right? I, it right? was nice in terms of like scope, time, all that, right? Do you have any? Did anyone? Did you have any like thoughts on anything Jared could improve on a first date? Help me out. What's what is going on? I mean, well, uh oh. No, I mean, I, I really, I really was trying to think of things because I was like, what's interesting to say? But I do feel like, um, I don't have anything interesting to say. Um, Nothing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Nora, I'll pay you later. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he was. Per he was perfect. He was perfect. Perfect in every way. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm. I'm not a too harsh a critic. I'm. I'm definitely like. There's. There's. I'm very open to how people are themselves, I guess. I mean, right. So, and I feel like even though I've been on many first dates this year, I do feel like I'm not a very experienced dater and perhaps, you know, you all have more things to share with me, but <laughs> I feel like there's no, you were, you were well, great. Well, that's my, that was my question too. Any tips for Nora for any dates going forward? No, I think Nora's, you know, lack of words for criticizing me kind of shows how nice she is and easy and uh, open to talking and, right. you know, sharing on a first date she was. So it, it wasn't like this, like, we'll, you know, we talked about being at a comedy show on the date and like how some, I was watching a video earlier that day of this guy being like, be funny to the comedian. <laughs> and like, I think that's a certain, a certain type of person that would be like, be funny. There was none of that. It was just like, hey, uh, this is cool. Nice to meet person you. To Let's, person. Yeah, it was very um, easygoing. So I, I have okay. no. And what about the age gap for you? I think that may, you know, when, you know, when Nora says that she's like, you know, doing 23 dates, that's great. I think that's amazing. I think like when you, but you're doing that because also you're like getting in the game. Like you want to experience dating. I think maybe that would be like the only thing for me looking back on it, like, Maybe someone who's like, kind of like gone through that 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 um, exercise right. already, and is like I kind of in touch with what I know I'm looking for already, and maybe Nora isn't at that space yet, which is totally fine. I've, I, I'm listen, I've uh, been there myself, so right, I understand that. Well, this was enlightening for me. <laughs> Nora, thank you so much for coming on. Is there anything else you wanted to like add or anything you want to say to Jared while you have him here in the after the final rose? <laughs> I want Nora to do one thing, promote herself. She does uh, ceramics and she has an Instagram account where she sells amazing, wonderful ceramics and everyone should go yes. check it out and, and, and purchase. Nor, Nor, give us the ceramic, ceramics Instagram oh and goodness. give us your personal Instagram in case there's anyone listening who would like to slide into your DMs as well. Oh my we, God. Yeah, they can buy you yes. or the clay. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Unless this third date really like goes, yeah. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, no, I definitely, definitely appreciate that. Um, I would say, yeah really interesting to to be on the pod thanks you all oh, for having internet me doesn't work guess you can't do it no i <laughs> <laughs> um my my instagram it's nora underscore m-a-y-d-e which is made but like my last name is may now you can just like find me on the internet 
Um, <laughs> but you can, I mean, honestly, message me through there. I don't really use my like personal Instagram. My my personal Instagram has like pictures from when I was fifteen. So I'm not gonna share okay. that. <laughs> <Yeah>. fair. <laughs> fair, fair. Okay. Well, now you guys know where to find Nora. Thank you again for coming on. Thank you for submitting to be in this. You were, were great, great sport, great date. So I've heard. Can't um, thank you enough. It, it, it was really, truly wonderful to meet you and tell your mom I said hello. And, absolutely. and thank you for listening to Bachelor. <laughs> all right. Thanks, you all. Love the pod. Thanks, Talk Nora. to you later. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. All so. Right. What was the report? I, I I guess what what did you learn? Um, I le- <laughs> honestly I didn't learn anything that interesting that I didn't already suspect. Okay, which is that you're a very good first date. You know how to talk to people. You know how to fill any awkward silences that might exist. You have you know you ask good questions. You've been doing this a bit for a bit. Yeah, this I am I am date. no amateur when this it comes to first dates. Right, uh, and she seemed to confirm that that you're like a lot more capable at this than a lot of people than she's been out with. That's interesting to hear. I guess yes. I, you know, I don't think of like, you don't think of what, other guys on dates and no, how you compare. <laughs> no, not, not right. really. And I also don't think of myself as being anywhere above average, you know, like, I'm right. just like, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm on a date. I can't understand how someone would handle it differently. Right. Is really my thought mm-hmm. on dates. Well, yeah. Especially at first. Date. I can under, because you, you know, you only think of your, you think of your own, world and Mm -hmm. how you act but yeah it sounds like you're a great first date um i i would imagine it's not often that you want to go on a second date with someone and they don't want to go on a second date with you Um, i would imagine that's not often right and i could uh, i i hope she understood i mean did you say like that you didn't want to go out with her no i was gonna i'm I'm gonna break up with her for you you I thought that was like what was going on no, here. I, I thought you were like gonna say I like didn't Jared. But you, I was gonna. Did she want to go on a second I, date? What am I, your secretary? I'm gonna break up with it with with her for you. I think it's it was, not a breakup, by the way. Of, um, Nora, if you're listening, this, this, it was not, just not a, a breakup. I had a great I mean, time. She de- she definitely said like she would want to go out again. Um, it, I think, it, but it's one of those things where we had like as you, we right. talked about with Nora, it was like an average first date. Yeah, we got to know each other a little bit, and then it was like. If we did it again, I don't, you know. Right. I was kind of surprised that she, I mean, it, she said it definitely had a, a strong friendship vibe. Um, but that, you know, in terms of like, the, I asked about like a romantic connection. And she's, I think, again, you sort of hit it on the head when you were like, she's kind of exploring what that even looks like. Mm. She's going on all of these dates. I think she saw more potential in it than maybe a seasoned dater like yourself. Right on the date. Well, that was the. thing. I didn't explicitly say you guys weren't going out a- out again, but I I think that was sort of implied. It was a little implied, yeah. but I I that's why I thought you guys had already talked about it. I, <laughs> I I, but I would say um, yeah. I guess when I had forgotten, and then when that came up, I remember thinking when she mentioned the other dates she had going on, I remember thinking to myself, oh, maybe that's like a sign of like this is cool, but like, I got other things going on right. and, and not really, I didn't take it so personal. I wasn't like, I think if that goes into the, the section of like that also, if I was, if I felt there was more, f- we were heading towards a second date, that wouldn't push me away from a second date. Mm-hmm. You know, we get a lot of emails that are like, well, maybe I said this one thing that made them think, right. It's not that, that, that was said, but that played into the whole vibe of like, where this date feeling like it was a romantic connection right and let me go back the seville was very nice but i think you can't be on a couch seated next to each other on a first date i agree with that it it was a low couch i took a picture of it you said it was a very uh unfuckable it was an unfuckable unfuckable (laughs) way for me to sit i these are my texts to jordana last night uh (laughs) we'll go to my texts Okay, here are my texts to Jordana. Should we read our text to each other? Yes. All right. Okay. I'll be I'll be me. <laughs> and I'll be me. Okay. Hold on. Let's well these are from before. Let's the, start the, at when you got there. Let's start at um Okay. Um <laughs> Is she there yet? Not yet. For some reason the bar has annoyed me at every turn. And what I mean by that is that the bar, like, when you're going to a first date, 
You just want to like get in your perch. Right. Like you just want to be like set not shop. sweating, set yeah. up shop. I didn't want to be late because I also didn't want that being reported here. So I did feel the eyes of the you up audience right. on me but that she I was late. Would you normally have been a little later than you got there? No, but it wouldn't have like stressed me out the way it did, okay. I think. I, made... But I like to be on time. So and again, I have been late. Not to say I haven't been late before, but right. this was one where I was like, Jared, that Uber better show seven fi- or six fifty. Yeah, I mean, you said you well, you you texted me first at seven oh one. Seven oh one. So you and were definitely seven, on time. Is she there yet? And I wrote, not yet. For some reason, the bars annoy me at every turn. Okay, it's in the basement of a hotel. It's hard to find. So now, on top of a first date, you're like doing this maze thing around the hallways to try and find this fucking place. It was so hard to find that I got to the basement where it is and there's another doorway in. The guy working there was locked out. Oh my God. I had to let him in. So like, well, they she, don't have their right. door figured she out, the say, Seville. She, she did say it was hard to find and she was kind of stressed because she was late and then she was later because she couldn't figure out where it was. Right, and every minute counts because you even said, uh, and I said, it's in the basement of a hotel, like hard to find. And then I wrote, I'm at a low couch. Maybe the most unfuckable way to sit. And I laughed that, at that. <laughs> you laughed at that. And I said, it's going to be fine. Good luck. I need updates. And I said, there's a band <laughs> setting up next to us. And then I said, live music on a Tuesday. <laughs> um, and then I wrote back, I said, still by accident instead of tap. And I almost <laughs> ran after her to correct myself. So, you know, when they go still sparkling tap. Yeah. I think they do the still thing to fuck with you. Like to see who who actually orders the still. Well, I think it's like Re- you think still is going to be tap, but then you realize very late in the process. Uh, the you're tap like tap is tap. Tap is tap. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, so did fuck. You get, did you get, I mean, they're, no, so then they it's were on them. They I know. And it. I didn't, I know. <laughs> Take all the water you can get. Right? Get an extra one for the road. <laughs> uh, and so then you wrote. Okay. So weird start. And then I sent you a picture of the couch. Look how low. It's hard to tell the, the, uh, the height. depth, the height from the picture. I'm just saying this couch, what are we supposed to do? There are like footstools, I guess you would call them next to it. But it's like, I'm not going to sit on a, like a stool while you're on the couch. Like I'm like your therapist, right. you know, right. like it's just not a good, I would have rather been corner seat at a bar. <laughs> I, <laughs> Yeah, avoid like those weird like loungy tables. Hate okay. yeah. a loungy table. I don't want to be in an it's opium awkward. den. I don't want to be hookah. You want to be the I don't want to be a poo bar sitting there with my stomach hanging out. I'm literally knees over waist. Right. You want to be the same height. Yes. And that height is like so your feet can comfortably touch the ground. Yes. At the heel. Okay. This is. This is someone who's been dating for a while right. knows this. Listen, okay. I, I don't think the Seville thought that I'd come back with reviews of them that are harsher <laughs> than the date deeply itself. deeply regretting, I'm yes. sure, this sponsor. And I wrote to you, bad date couch. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wrote, they asked us to be here. <laughs> wouldn't you, if you're like, come to our bar and do a first date, wouldn't you put us at like the best first date maybe spot? Maybe that is that's when they're, again, maybe the person who's, who's arranging this. Uh, if they're listening... Nobody wants to be first date next to, like, a trumpet. <laughs> we all have angles. Surely they must know There's this. a guy playing maracas in my ear. And I wrote, <laughs> and I said, now you know why it's been comped. Are they giving you a VIP treatment? I said, the girl who set it up came over just now. Uh, she's very nice. I, <laughs> I almost complained about the seat. I go, tough to find. She goes, I know. Okay. That was my cue of this might right. have been a bad suggestion Just from so you, you guys. Just so you know, right. And then I said, is the date girl not there yet? How late is she? I wrote, not here. And then I wrote, eight minutes and counting. <laughs> not that, <laughs> not that I noticed. <laughs> Getting stood up is a fantastic story, I, is what I wrote. And I said, that might be the best story. Maybe she saw me and turned around. And then I said... <laughs> You'd have to Zach Braff her. Start making that TikTok. (laughs) And I laughed at that. I actually thought to myself, I can't be late. And this is something that was going through my mind. And then I said, we'll give her 15 minutes grace period. And then I wrote, I'm kind of hoping for a stand up. Like I I did at that point imagine how fun this show. It's like when you hoped the thing would be canceled. Right. And then I said, there's no way. She entered a contest (laughs) to be here. I wrote, can't be, but imagine how funny. I said, that would be great. She'd literally have to be dead to not show. 
and then, then uh, we did the day I wrote. She was very nice. Yes. Um, so that was our text leading in. So again, it, I think if we were to go back and redo the whole thing, right? How would you change it? I would pick the bar. We wouldn't take the money. Okay. We got seduced <laughs> by the money. The Seville offered us, and yes. I. Yeah. And again, thank you to the Seville thank you to the, for, for sponsoring. Let me case. just say, if I you're looking this, for, I hope this didn't completely backfire for you. I, I let me give them their flowers. Yeah. Beautiful bar. If a guy set up a date there, he'd look like a stud who really right. put in some effort. Sounds like a good third date spot. Third date. Tuesday night is yeah, the live music right before the seduction. <laughs> right, that right. would do it. That would do it for me. Just know Tuesday night there's a trio that's playing, and you want to go on the get there early so you can get a seat far enough away to. Yes, first date you just want to be able to hear the person speak in not dead silence, but not extreme. While noise. sitting in a fuckable position. Yes. Fuckable. Let position. me just reiterate that because I again we I'm saying open, this, we should open a bar called First Date Spot. I it has all of these 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 uh, trappings. Right, we could compete with the bar stool bars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are going to there. Oh my god! If date. someone took me to a bar stool bar on a first date, I think I would vomit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you remember we went in Philly? Yeah, it was actually, it was it was actually not pretty, bad. Yeah, it was pretty good. I, 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 it's kind of like an Ainsworth. I thought if I were bit, Barstool, yeah. I would take their name out of it. Yeah. I'm uh, saying like if, if, if you didn't tell me that it was that bar, I wouldn't. If it was called yeah. Barre Stoulel, <laughs> you okay, would enjoy it. Not that there's anything wrong with Barstool, but I don't want to go to a Barstool bar. I'm just as yeah, a 34 well, year old woman. That's well, that's the thing. <laughs> bars do well because women go to bars and men want to fuck women. Right. So like, maybe I don't know. I maybe 22. it's working for them. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. at 22. Who knows? And not to say. I don't know. It just I, I remember the the look on all the Betches women's faces when we were like, "Hey, we're gonna go to the Barstool Bar." Was like, "What?" I was like, "I can't be seen here." <laughs> um. <laughs> but we digress. Yes. Um, yeah, I just think it's just you know. So the bar I would choose, I would find a spot. Um, well, now you know what it's like to be a woman and judge the place that the guy picks. As, absolutely. You know. Well, that that's the thing. I would have rather me been judged. I would have rather that been part of my assessment. Right. Than this game. And that kind of plays into like how deep could we have gotten into it? It would have been really funny if she got there and you were like, I can't stay at this bar. It's nice. Like you did the exact Zach Braff thing that we just talked about. You want to go here? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I can't. I've got to. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. I look unfuckable. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, Jared, it's wild what happened. He just, yeah, because I, and I'm saying this about myself, like, I didn't feel comfortable because now you're rushing into a bar that you couldn't find, that you're sitting in a seat, your knees above your legs, like I'm giving birth, right. and you're in a couch, <laughs> and it's like, and then I'm meeting someone who knows me and I don't know her. She said that too. She said it was like a little unbalanced because she kind of knew a lot about you, um, and you didn't know too much about her and she said that like she didn't necessarily think that you would think that she was a match for you she likes to stay in she's not she said she's not that fun that wouldn't that, I said that, you, didn't I said that into... can't be true you applied to be on the state that's <laughs> right. pretty fun right that in itself is fun yeah. no I, I I didn't get that I just was it was nice to learn about her like the ceramics thing I thought was so cool yeah um and that seemed to be a big part of her life but it took a minute to get to and that again, as most I think that is information cool. on dates I don't do. think that's for you yeah it, it, it's no again that worked into like this is a very nice person but just it's not right. the match for for me and I and again it does play into like you know you start to feel you're like we could, again we could go on a second date right and I'm and and I'm sure you go, well, if you're not like it, and I think this is like, I don't know. I think this is somewhat male. Like if you're not running up the mountain, right. I'm not going to run at all. Okay. Well, I think that's fine, especially for a second date. Cause I would be like, I don't want someone going on a second date with me if they're just to see not running up the mountain. Right. And, and I think most men are probably like that too. I, maybe I, not. I think, I do think. Maybe it, not. I feel like a man is fine with like a woman going out with him, even if she's not that into him. Oh, that I do agree. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I think a lot of men, I think a lot of men don't even think of that. Which is crazy. Well, I mean, there was a thing that got posted. There was a TikTok we got tagged in where this woman was like, I, I sent it to you. She was like, I'm not attracted to this guy. Oh yeah. And, uh, but we're married now. Right. 
And you're like, I, and I guess the guy can look past that. I, I, I don't know if I could, but like, I don't think a lot of guys are like thinking of like, I think the ego helps us in that. Right. Which where is you go. Like, so, okay. So if, if you they're here, they want to be here as much as I want to be here. You know, like what, it's. Would you do this thing kind of thing again? So again, so what I would redo if I did it again is I think I would want more out of the email. I think the things that we concentrated on in the email school, it was nice. I mean, Yale, I'm impressed by. I'm sure she was very smart. Very. Okay. And also I, the, the thing that I zoned in on for some reason was her mom. Okay. Being like a listener of the bachelor and kind of getting how much I didn't like this one character. Okay. And I think I like concentrated it's on like the, a little too niche thing to concentrate on yeah but it also wasn't her opinion on the person i was kind right. of assuming that they were like both didn't like this one character on the show and like wow so she didn't agree with her mom she didn't watch okay. <laughs> so i i was kind of like i don't know why that spoke to me in such a way and again it's flattering it was flattering to mm -hmm. that is flattering um so what would so you would focus on what the person thinks not their family <laughs> right I, okay. I guess that sounds stupid when we say it out loud but i don't know it was like I guess I would have, we got a lot of emails that were like big on TSA pre and Delta and like, that's all fun and games. I just don't know if it told us the person. Right. And like, you know, it, I guess you would say like, would you do like, would you change like the way we about like what we're asking for? Yeah. I guess I, you got to change the question if you want different answers. What's right? the question? Right. What's the question? I, I guess that would be an interesting. Describe your ideal date. Maybe. Describe what you do. Give me your schedule last Friday through Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm of a like, stalker. Right. <laughs> I, I, Tell me where you'll be. And then you just me with sunglasses looking through the window of a coffee shop. Give no, us your social security number. Well, I guess yeah. like that, it, it, you know, it is funny. We you give, know what? We we should, give we the advice. We tailored, tailored questions to you specifically. Right. Like that, that would determine if you would actually be interested. Well, I guess. Right. That's like the first date questions. Like it is. No, but those don't always come up. Like. Um, Give me an example. Like. um, What time do you leave for the airport? Um, <laughs> well, like, I, we give the advice. Show me versus tell me. Right. And I think a lot of the emails were telling me. And we, this is our advice. It's right. from our mouths. It's like, don't say you're funny. Do some fucking funny. Right. You know, like, what do you think is funny? You know, I don't know. I think it was a lot of like, I do the, you know, the, the Delta two and I do TSA pre two. It's like, that doesn't matter. Like, like if someone, the it's show the me. you is, think more than it is, I think about what you do. Right. I passive aggressively, you know, Right. Get angry How at do you anyone who. Fight? Yeah, like right. I, it would just be more like, tell me about your last argument and how you resolved it. Yeah, it would be a better question than like, right. do you argue? Right. <laughs> you know, name a time you felt really proud. <laughs> Get it to, it's a college what was, essay. What was the worst fight you got into with your dad? <laughs> tell it now. Yeah, yes. like what's the last time? What's the la what's the last thing you talked about with your dad on the phone? Right. Should we do this again? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I I think I think Can Candace is on vacation now, but I think she could help us come up with maybe more creative, clever, clever uh, application process. Right. And and I think us asking a specific question like we're talking about right now. I don't know what it is. We're we're spitballing right now. But like right. uh, if it was more college essay, okay. then, <laughs> well, then you're definitely I'm gonna really get more, you're definitely gonna get more people who went to Yale. <laughs> right. <laughs> But I think it was a positive experience. I did learn a, a little bit more about myself. You know, right. I think like as a dater, again, the texting afterwards, like the way I kind of felt uneasy. Well, she disagreed with me. I think that she seemed like she was um, like not offended by the. Right. But, the but was it kept, the best thing for me, though? Right. Like as a dater, and it's best for me to like not have texted because I wasn't, again, running up that mountain. But I also, like a, right. I also don't know if the way that, that I, that she was describing the text, she wouldn't have minded is the same text as, because she was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind a text that was like, um, had a nice time, like great meeting you. Great meeting you to me is we will never meet again. Yeah, that wouldn't I be think. the guy. I, I wouldn't you differentiate wouldn't do that. that way. Would you would never, would, would you say great meeting you? Yes. You would say that. Okay. To someone I 
would go out again and to someone I wouldn't. To both? Yeah. Really? It was it's a pleasure meeting you. I had a great time. Hope you got home safe. Let me know you got home safe. That let would me be, know you had got home safe. That would well, be, that's another interesting one because it's like, let me, like, if you don't, first of all, if you're not home safe, what are you doing? You're going out to like, I pick just want to make sure from, I don't get accused hospital? of the murder. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and if they are home safe, like, what are you like? Oh, now you can go to bed without, without I, having to worry. Again, it's more for me than them. I, right. I, I guess. Right. But right. I don't know. It's a little bit like closing the tab. I don't know. It comes from a place. And you text that either way. Well, here's my I'm question. not saying I do every time. I don't have like a standard okay. text. Well, I'm saying I, ha I would. Well, here's my question. OK, so you send that text no matter what to the person you went out with. And then what's the difference in if you like the person or you don't? Or you want to go out. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. If, if you want to go out again or you don't. I, uh, there you, isn't. Do you text again? I, I guess you would text again and make a plan. Okay. From there. Or, hey, what's the weekend looking like? What's your plan next week? Would love to go out again. I, I would assume. Make the second date next day? I, I think it would be made. No, it would be like the next day or the next, or that, that week at some point. I would say okay. on, a, on a long range that week at some point, on a short range that night, hey, I'd love to go out again. And that that might be texted okay. if I wanted a second date. And if you didn't want a second date, they respond to the, um, hope you got home safe. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> and then you probably like the message. You never speak to them again. Is that That's a way it could go. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I... <laughs> Or you continue speaking to them after that? No! <laughs> <laughs> we write to each other for six years right. until she gets okay, married. Okay, so, so you write that, right? And then yeah. the next day she texts you. Hey. How are you, how are you doing? I guess that's the point where I'd have to, like, say something, right? But I wouldn't. I, I don't know what, if I would. I don't I, think you would. If I'm like, hey, how's your day going? How's your day? Pretty good. That's it? <laughs> no, you'd ask a question. I would go, you how's wanna, yours? Yeah, I would be yeah. like, everything's good. If Here's the thing. If they texted me like with like something we talked about the night before, hey, I just remembered this happened, I would be very nice to them and not say anything negative. I'd okay. be like, oh, that, yeah, that's fun. That's cool. I totally have remember to, that. Right, but you wouldn't reject them unless they asked to hang out again. Yeah, that would Which be. Which is fair. I think I would do the same in the other situation. I wouldn't reject a, a man unless he tried to make another plan. Right, well, this is kind of why... You know, when I give advice here and talk, I'm talking from my own perspective, like right. what and I do generally think people are like in the business of being nice and feeling good about them. And I think people are in the business of be of easy versus hard. Right. Easy is being agreeable, being nice. A text is easy to send. And then if you got to the point, hey, we should go out again. And now you're like kind of put to that decision of like it, it, right. you're kind of like you know putting what? off the decision. I take it back. It, the, the text isn't isn't that terrible. The text. <laughs> Hope you go. I don't say this. No, the, the isn't, text isn't after horrific. the date is not like horrific. It could be construed as common decency. Yeah, I'm not like fully against it, but that has to it has to be like kind of the end there, unless the sure. other person. You can't just text, which I don't think you do. You can't just like text randomly throughout the week no. with no actual plan being made. This is the problem, and this is why this podcast exists. Modern dating is like very confusing what you get back to like even office emails you know like how people hope this email finds you well like these are all like ways of not saying what you really want to say right i hope this email finds you well no, where are I... you right <laughs> <laughs> right like uh eight minutes late like yes. if i had texted that that has a tone <laughs> That would be so funny if you text her. <laughs> tick, tick. Picture of a watch. <laughs> Miss Minutes from Loki. Uh, that was a very deep cut for this podcast. but I don't know what that is. I'll show you. It's a cartoon clock. Okay. If it, it's a waving cartoon clock. That sounds fun. Who's Southern somehow? What do you think of this experiment? Are you are you happy we did this? I am happy. I wish it had gone worse so there'd be like more interesting stuff to Some talk juice. about to an extent. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Listen, um Or I wish it had gone worse or like you like both were fucking like hated each it other. It was on. No. Oh, we like, like loved each other. I needed other. you guys to like hate each other or love each other. Right. This was like a little you know, I don't know. Do you guys agree? Right. Yeah. Good little, thing we spent fifty minutes on it. <laughs> it's a little we boring. We could have moved on. It's a little I, boring when you both are like, yeah. Well, the, pretty good. Well, it's <laughs> kind of like, well, this kind of plays to like modern dating. Like, are we even acting? 
you know, like when people are like mad at these crazy dates, like I can't believe that person still exists anymore. Like with like, like I was at, I was at the gym today and I watch fitness videos. Like I, I watch a trainer on my phone okay. at the gym. To me, that's pr you're at a gym. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Guy came up to me. He goes, no live videos at the at the gym. Did you ever headphones in? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't on a boom box. I, I had my headphones in. I'm yeah. doing this workout that's yeah, on my your, phone. You have your headphones in. What does anyone well, care? Well, it was the trainer being like, you're taking money away from me. That was Someone I, else is training you? Yeah. That's stupid. I think that's a stupid rule. It's so Equinox. So many rules. I wasn't going to name names. You already said you were going uh, there. That's fair. Well, this guy said this to me, and I... I was annoyed. Was it New York Sports Club? Obviously, it's we, nice. me and him disagree. Okay. I think I'm not doing the video on my phone because I was, or, or do a trainer. Well, it's kind of like if that's what you need to get business, your your service is not that good. Because if right. it was that good, you wouldn't have to worry about someone doing a live video. And I, <laughs> I tend to agree with you. I I think I could understand their position. We have a disagreement. Okay. This person and I. Sure. I turn the phone around. I just listen to my video. I'd continue my workout because fuck off. <laughs> I'm not, I came here with a workout to did do. Did he come back? No, but that was the end of it. I kept thinking to myself, what if he like videotaped me and was like, look at this piece of shit doing a workout, taking, and I, and it would be like put up to the TikTok group. You roll your eyes, but I'm like. That's such a, it would not be an interesting TikTok. It wouldn't get any algorithm hits. It would be a debate of, can you use a video at the gym and who's the asshole? It's I who's guess. the asshole debates uh, to me are watchable, I guess. Right, I guess. And I'm like. It'd be pretty unprofessional. Right. I, <laughs> I agree. I'd have a problem with Equinox. Yeah. But I thought of that when in relation to this date. Like, we both were kind of like on. I don't think I was on my best behavior, but like there was eyes on us right we knew we were gonna have to come back today and talk about it and it's like can are you like can that can, you it, can it be like a real natural i mean, can the bachelor be natural i think so i think so well the thing with the bachelor is that they're on you're on camera for so long that you kind of forget that you're on camera because it's just the norm and they all say that right they all kind of say that you lose that's it what i'm and saying so that's how they get like the right the, it to not be that feeling of you're constantly performing, like in the Real Housewives too. Like eventually, become so used to it that you're not acting that different. Maybe we should have a cocktail hour that we videotape the whole cocktail hour. We invite the twenty women we had that emailed in. So it's really the Bachelor. We have the Bachelor, right? And then we'd get a more honest take on the we second could do that. Third date. Yeah, if you want to sponsor our <laughs> mini Bachelor type show, just. Make sure your seats are fuckable. Make sure your fuckable seat. If you think you're the best first, <laughs> if you are a bar owner now or someone who works at a bar and you think your bar is a great first date <laughs> bar, let us know. Let us know. Let's get to the uh, episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Red flagger. Let's play some games. Red flagger, deal breaker. <laughs> they have gross table manners on the first date. Hi, J&J. &J. Went on a first date with a guy and thought this would make a good red flag or deal breaker. We went out to dinner and he had gotten a salad. At one point, I looked up from taking a drink. Salad? First date? What kind of salad? Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, unless it's a lunch date. Right. At one point, I looked up from taking a drink to see he was trying to pick something from his mouth with his fingers. Mm. His mouth was wide open, but in a tight O shape, as if he was trying to not to let everything fall out. So like this? I guess. Oh, YouTube? yeah, that's not cute. He yeah, said, not a good look. while still digging around, there's a hair in my salad. <laughs> oh, my God. I immediately felt repulsed and looked away. He kept digging and eventually pulled out the hair and held it up to, I guess, show it off. Uh, <laughs> Here it is. It keeps, it's like he's trying to, like. Turn you off. Yeah. Right? I was stunned into speechlessness. Who wants to see that, especially on a first date? Wouldn't you just take a napkin and spit the whole bite out? It was a deal breaker for me is I could hardly make eye contact with him the rest of the date because I couldn't get that image out of my head. Thanks for all that you do. What do you think? So he pulled the hair out of his mouth? I guess he like pulled it out of the food. This is the, dis that's the most disgusting. Like, yeah. 
having to watch that. Oh. Yeah, I yeah. think she's right. She should have just like taken a napkin. Spit it spit into a napkin. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So here's a good red flag. So okay. you find someone finds a hair in their food. They send the whole dish back. Mm. Are you cool with that? I'm okay with it. Yeah. I, I, I would also be okay with them going. It was on the side. You're also cool with that. Yeah. Okay. It, either way, it would be hard for me. Like I'm not confident enough in my, as I pick my ear, um, <laughs> I'm not gross at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm not confident enough in my, like, I'm not. You don't think either way is, like, that bad? I'm not a germaphobe, but, like, in a way that someone could find me gross. So I'm not, like, to me, I'm, like, I'm. I'm, Middle of the line. Yeah, like, I don't, like, if you took the hair, it also depends how long the hair is. My family, famously, I don't know, famously. you 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 send it back? No, my family, we they went for Chinese food. They found like a braided bead, like oh a God. lock of hair. Oh, yeah. That's and, not good. and and they like were like, this is crazy. It was like fr- You'd send that back. Yeah, that, that one goes back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, you too. She puts it to the side. <laughs> I'm wearing the bead right now on my necklace. Oh, no, my I <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. What would you do? Gross. I think I agree. I think the way he did it is definitely an ick. If if I would think there would be one. Right. But if he put it on the side and I, I think you'd want to make it first of all the whole thing is weird first date you're getting dinner weird first date sat he gets a salad also weird. weird then the hair thing i just think the whole like you said context is a big part of the date mm-hmm. and so this is not a sexy context right and and yeah you it's, get i'll have the salad like i i, <laughs> I just not ordering together to me sets up like this like interview style bad would thing. you get dinner on a first date no but i have like I, it's not that i'm like if someone's like we went for dinner on a first date i would go not for me but i get it okay and then where if they were like well we went for salads at what you know chopped. <laughs> yeah, at salads i'd be like weird yeah. if they were like we went to this spanish tapas place that has live music and we got a few shared plates Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, okay, that's a date. You know, like, I'll have the salad. I'll have the hoagie. No. It's not a date. To me, if you're ordering entrees, you're on a bad date. That's my opinion. You think? On any date number? Any date. What if you're like... There's no sharing. What are we we, we mixing? I don't know why you love sharing food so much. I like to... I have a lot of siblings. I like to have my own food. Yeah, this I is wanna have crazy. My, I want to have my own entree that we could share an app, but I want my own s- stuff. I just brought this up over. Sometimes Mike will come into like <laughs> if I'm watching, if I'm like eating dinner and watching TV, he'll be like, I'm not going to take it. Just like <laughs> he has to let you know. He has to make you feel comfortable. Yes. You're sitting there I'm like, hovered I'm over a bowl. It, you know, I've got the thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't like to. I don't share that. I don't. I'm not that good of a sharer. Which yeah. Is surprising. This- Surprising. I think it's surprising. I've, I have because I have you know you think I'd be used to sharing. I have a lot of siblings. No, I I guess I understand. Maybe from you I understand. Now I assume anyone with a lot of siblings, mm-hmm. they're just fending for themselves. I mean, out you've the got to like you've yeah. got to make your 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 space known. <laughs> right. You know? No. Like, listen, when you you come into the Abram house, especially you like punch you know. the biggest fucker <laughs> in the room. You let I mean, them know. There's like people taking food off of your plate. It's like fuck off. Right. Like this is mine. Who's the biggest <laughs> offender in your family? Like who is the one that did this to you? Who did this to you, Jordana? My older sister Becky. That I just uh, the that, unknown. Yeah, no, yeah, Becky's coming up all the time up, now. Yeah. yeah. No, she. Be, She's like the Kardashian that sister, didn't go on the show. My sisters and I. <laughs> my sisters and I would always share like everything. Like there's we had like. Four, four of us as sisters, like yeah. relatively close in age. So there'd be like, con- that's like my, that's my shirt. Like, this is my shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you just like, there would be in your room taking your stuff. Like, I'm very into like, this is mine. Right. You can have yours. I get it. Mm-hmm. None of this is surprising to me. I'm a feral like- <laughs> animal. Yes. Now, oh, and now mm-hmm. Mike has to deal with yeah. the, the brunt of it after this upbringing. But um, no, I, I. So, but I'm saying, I actually just thought of this idea for a date, a okay. show, a TV show, where it's like chopped, but it's couples ordering dinner at a restaurant. Okay. So, like, you and Mike would be uh, give a hundred dollars, 
and you go to a restaurant. We have to split and it. And you decide what you're going to order together, and then we put you up against other couples to see who has the best order. Okay. That, I like that. To, that to me would be a fun so thing like to judge. So it's like a mix of like a cooking show and a dating show. Yes. So we okay. see how well you order together. But who's judging? Me. <laughs> Why do you get to judge? Because I'm the board lord. I, okay. <laughs> Because I only brought this up because Jeremy Jacobowitz, who's the Brunch Boys right. guy, yeah. he posted that he went to Emmett's. You ever been to Emmett's? No. Thin crust pizza, Emmett's? Really good thin crust pizza. Cool bar, cool scene. I like it. How are the couches, stools? There's no couches for me to look like a toad on. <laughs> and <laughs> that's basically mid-ribbit. So I, this is, but I, they have thin crust pizzas and he went and reviewed that they have a burger there. Okay. And I was like, that's not the order. I'm not going to the pizza, thin crust pizza right. place and order. I'm like, in my mind, when I saw him like reviewing the burger, I was like, uh-uh. Okay. That's not an order. That's a bad order. Right. If I went to Emmett's and- Get a pizza. You get the pizza, a couple apps, and a salad. Right. Done. Well, sometimes when you don't know order, that can taint the experience if you don't know how to order at the place. I, uh, I think that's the only thing that makes me a man. Okay. <laughs> that's well, the, I put a lot of, of my self-worth host, behind the ordering process. I think process. you should host MasterChef Juniors. I would, Have you ever seen that show? Those kids would leave crying. I mean, <laughs> that is like the best show. I Well, I don't really watch cooking shows. That's the only one I watch mm. because I just like to see – them when they're like, oh, the souffle is like is like not moist enough. And the kid's like, I'm eight. Um, <laughs> like I want to see yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you hosting that. That would be great. <laughs> Spit out their food. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's like, I'm sorry. I couldn't have right. time to perfect this. I had um, fucking math homework. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? Betches posted that guy. Gordon Ramsay made pad thai for this chef, and the chef tastes it, and he like looks at him. He just like, disgusted. It's the funniest. Me. I think Betches posted. Send it to me. I'll send it to you. All right, um, let's do another one. Another. Oh, that's you. <laughs> he lies about what he's looking for on the apps. Okay. He's three weeks out of a rocky two-year relationship in which he got dumped and admittedly isn't ready for a new relationship. He gets on Hinge and says he is looking for a long-term relationship. Anyway, uh, because he doesn't want to hurt his chances to get a date, uh, to get a date, because he doesn't want to hurt his chance to get a date behind him. This seems weirdly personal. Yeah, this is written. <laughs> the lay this sounds like a very like angry person. <laughs> right? He's three weeks out of a relationship. This, Rocky. This sounds like every, what every person would do. I right. would do this if I got out of a three week three if I was three weeks out of a Rocky two year relationship and I got dumped. I would put looking for a long term relationship even if I wasn't fully hundred percent there yet. She gendered this, so I will too. Um, men do believe that the next. Oh, is coming around the corner. Is that men orgasm are, or those, relationship? Uh, Ariel. That, that, yeah. <laughs> it was like a, a little mermaid. It's okay. like, like this. Oh, like men do believe in, in the weird way. I know that I come off as cynical, okay. grumpy Jared, but I'm just saying there's this like this next person. It's very like tropey. It's very like. Rom commy. This so very. They are looking for a long term relationship. I think this person feels that they've been tricked mm -hmm. because they wrote on the app long term relationship. But you're not. If someone doesn't believe they're lying to you, they're not lying to you. You know, right. it's hard to make someone feel bad when they're like, "I do believe I could meet someone two weeks after the end of a rocky relationship." Right. Afterwards, I might go, "Hey, I don't think I should be dating right now well, because here, I just got." And that sucks to hear. I get that. But, right. Here's the thing is like if this was the right relationship, I think he might be looking for, like if if but, this person. Right. If it was that thing, like that magic thing. Right. He would be into a long. He's not interested in her. And this is a good excuse. Right. And and if he took it out of his profile, I would say I would say to him, if he came to me man to man was like, look at my profile. I'm just out of a whatever two weeks in. And I'm saying this as someone who gets the emails. I'm, I'm saying this. Right. I, I am in a very specific 
place in this whole dating thing, knowing what I know. If the guy was like, what do you think of my profile? I'd be like, I would take out looking for a long-term relationship. I would just leave that blank. Okay. Whether you believe it or not, we don't need to write things down to get ourselves what do you have in trouble. And yours, or what did you what did you have? Nothing. Nothing. Don't I don't think it's worth answering. I think it's the dumbest question on the app. I think to even listen to it on the app is dumb too. Let's just assume if you're a you up listener, every man you're dealing with is open to short, open to long. Open to it all. He he's open to everything. Okay. So just Yeah, it won't tell play, you anything. Play that way and you will be better off. Agreed. So I guess um, nothing, not red flag or deal breaker. No, no. The She's the deal breaker at this point because of the way it's written. Right. No, it is. No, it is written annoyingly. Yeah. All right. This one's funny. Hi, J and J. Long time listener obsessed with the pod. I have a red flag or deal breaker for you. I went on a second date with a guy from Hinge and we went out for dinner at a super small and intimate Italian spot. Ooh, love it. Pasta that's, for the lady. That's a good second date. <laughs> right. Yeah. Intimate Italian spot. And I got a great ragu for the couple. I think Italian's like a pretty safe second date dinner spot. Love Italian. Yeah. We finished Have you our- been to Via Corotto? I haven't yet. I heard great you things. You haven't been? Though. No. Oh, you gotta go. I've heard that great things. That place is great. I'm, gonna- I'm a big Via Corotto fan. Big fan of all of their restaurants. They've got a few. What else do they have? Uh, Bouvet. Is that easy to get a reservation? They take reservations now. I think you might be able to, to get one. Use your power as Betch's creator. How do you do that? Go to the Betch's Instagram account, sign in. Oh, and then you message them. And then from you message there. them, hey, I'm the Queen Bee. Listen to my rave review of uh, the Seville. <laughs> <laughs> that could be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be honest. No, yeah. it's, a, it's just. Oh, is a, that what you do? You just DM restaurants? Yeah, just and, DM them oh. and be like, hey, I'm looking to come into your restaurant. Interesting. Anything open? And I'm, you know, you're going to be flexible. Right. And they open the next week. Right. You know, and then they can fit people in. Yeah. Maybe I'll try that. I can't believe this is the first time. I don't, I'm not like. You guys don't. I I would say the Betches don't do these things. I think it's a little embarrassing. Not that not from you. um, (laughs) Good for you. (laughs) Embarrassing for me. No, I don't have like a, I'm not like a smooth like that. I would just do say I would it would be too awkward. You me. guys And then if I got if I got rejected, I would just be embarrassed all week. <laughs> you would never be rejected. I, <laughs> I, I I if they didn't answer, that'd be the rejection, I guess. But right. I don't know. You guys uh you guys are classy with that stuff. Cause you could get into anywhere you want. You you could run this city. You could be Eric Adams. I don't know about that. Maybe. I'll try I'll have to give it a I'll have to give it a shot. Give it a shot. All right. Uh, all I get is free tower readings. <laughs> <laughs> all the crystals I can have. Yes, yeah. yes. They just throw themselves All okay. the crystals of Sedona <laughs> are mine. <laughs> all right. If you have a cool restaurant and you want me to go, just. Um, I think you're going to get some message. Right. Maybe not the Seville. Maybe via Corona. Let's see. All right. <laughs> um, uh, where are we? Okay. It's intimate Italian spot. We finished our meals and suddenly I see waiters walking over with a, with a dessert with candles. I'm thinking this couldn't possibly be for our table, but lo and behold, the waiters place the dessert down at our table in front of my date and sing the entirety of happy birthday to him. That is so awkward. I had no... Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to you. Like it's like a real animated. Right. And then you're just kind of sitting there like, should I be clapping? Right. Or they do it the Italian Take way. A when the moon hits the <laughs> sky like a big piece of pie, it's your birthday. Oh my god! It's your birthday. You should work at an Italian I'd restaurant. Be pretty good. Yeah. I had no idea it was his birthday. He didn't mention anything about his birthday on the first date or on the one we were on. I, <laughs> I was, like this guy. And I was flabbergasted and confused as I awkwardly and uncomfortably joined in singing "Happy Birthday" to this guy. Oh, she joined in. Good for she her. should. I. That would be my test. After you don't took, sing happy birthday, you don't a, come home with Papa J. Oh, my God. After he took the time to make his wish. It's <laughs> 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 just closing his eyes. <laughs> what do you think he wished for? <laughs> a post-date kiss. <laughs> what will it be? <laughs> <laughs> the wish part is the best. Oh, that's great. Uh, I asked what was going on, and he said, What he was must- going on? <laughs> I think you know, you don't know what the fuck is going on. It's my birthday. <laughs> hey, idiot. <laughs> Open your eyes. 
<laughs> and he said he must have selected birthday in the resi app when you can do that i think so it's like special occasion oh you know. okay and when they ask if you're dining for an occasion and and that his birthday was coming up he okay. seemed it's called so it's not even that day it's just coming up he seemed just because they asked that in the app doesn't mean you, you have, have to answer, to answer it. yeah, okay. it. yeah. He seemed pretty pleased and excited that this happened, but I was thrown off and confused as to why he didn't give me any sort of warning be beforehand. It ultimately ended up being a deal breaker for me, what? among other reasons. Among other reasons. Okay. Right. I already wasn't feeling him on the date, and this sealed the deal. But that aside, what do you think? Red flag or deal breaker? Love a birthday singing batch. <sighs> this is crazy. See, first I, of all, here's where I can understand the deal breaker. Here's where if. I want to know what the other things were. Okay. I'm he, sure they maybe were in relation to someone who would do, someone who would do this maybe would do some other weird shit. Right. Is this whole thing an episode of punked? Right. Like you've turned me on to this. Like, is it all a joke? Yes. Is this one big, uh, he made a wish. Making a wish is so <laughs> fucking funny when someone's annoyed that this is oh, happening. Or they're like, all singing. Hold on. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, it, it, it. What do you think? Um, second date is too early for this. It's very weird. I think it's weird to do for yourself at any point. Actually, you could be dating like a year, and I would think it'd be weird to arrange your own birthday cake. One, yeah. that's weird. Two, on a second date. That's insane. Three, he wasn't embarrassed. Like if this happened to you, let's say by, let's say someone told the waiter they mm. brought over, you were on a second date, they brought over the cake. You would be like a little embarrassed. That someone I'd stand thought, up and I'd say, get me the fuck out of here. You know, get me I think it's embarrassing even when you're like with your family, right? See, I, I, to me, I'm, I'm like way closer to his side than her side no i really am like you to would me, never do this you would never i don't know if do i would this. never do this but it is fun it oh is God. like if like if it was the if he it has to match the personality of the guy you're on the date with if you're on a date with someone who's been funny and you guys have a good back and forth and it's been laughs nonstop for two dates you're saying if he did this as a joke it's to me it's a joke i don't it's, think it's a joke I'm not getting that vibe that it was a joke. Oh, I, I'm kind of having the vibe I, that he's having fun and she's a stickler. She's I think a, he like anti-birthday bitch. I mean, no, this is crazy. Let's say, okay, the scenario where I'm on his side is like first date, fun, jokes, fun, laughs. Wow, we like really get along. Second date, I got this Italian place, I set it up, and then you're having laughs and then all of a sudden... Happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday. And he smiles at you and a birthday cake shows up and he's like, and you're like singing along. And then it gets to the end. She's like, is this a joke? And he goes, wait. <laughs> if it was truly a joke, maybe. I think it's kind of embarrassing to get your own birthday cake. At yeah, that's the joke though. That to me is like more... The fun of it. If, like, I, I, I can't do, believe this is fucking happening. Do you guys think that this was, like, a joke? You I took this as yeah. serious? I think he was like, it's my birthday coming up. Like, I'm going to let them know. I'm a big birthday guy. You hate birthday guys. I do hate a birthday guy. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I kind of saw this as, like, funny. I don't, I, so if a woman did this for herself, you'd be into it? I... I would need her to like want me to be embarrassed by it. Like okay. she's like, I guess like that's the difference. It's like, I know this is stupid and I want to see how you'd react is funny. I second need date a is birthday too early for cake wherever I go is not funny. Second date is too early for that. I too think. early for, for that. I think if it was like, we've been dating for like four months and like you know that's like who i am second date you don't really know someone that well i think right. it's and i would have to know it was your birthday coming up i think i don't know i just think it's so weird <laughs> it's pretty bizarre I, this it's is... bizarre to say i guess the part that annoys me is him being like well it was on the thing and i just clicked the tab because i have a birthday in like next month i'd be like right. what 
I would have to be, he would have to be like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. For some, I must have like blanked and just like total and clicked the thing by accident. <laughs> just think, just like it's not so realizing stupid. what the occasion was. And they brought, this is mortifying. If he, said, the, yeah. if he said this is mortifying, it would be fine. That's okay. And he didn't make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> the wish is so funny. When the moon hits the sky like a... Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know. Plus, like, the original thought is, like, oh, this guy is, like, spending his birthday with me. <laughs> right. That, that's more scary than anything right? else. But I don't know. At 38, I'll be just sitting alone with a candle on the worst day of the year. Yeah. You and your, you and your, your best friend. The phone. Happy New Year. This is our New Year's episode. Oh, yeah. This Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone listening. Thank 2024. you. 2024. We started 2024 with a bang uh, or a whimper, as you put it. So this I'm sorry. Is... <laughs> it, was, it, was still, it was still great to hear about the date. Well, maybe someone heard that and they're like, I'm the best date for Jared. Yeah. Maybe that, that you know. If maybe you've they also were been like, told that you were an amazing first date, I was a pretty good first date back in my day. You, you brought it? Yeah. No birthday cakes, though. No birthday cakes. That's why I got asked on second dates. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I usually got dumped at like the the sixth date. <laughs> the three. The what are we? Three months mark. Yeah. Sixth date, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I no. I I guess my biggest dating issue isn't a first date. It's that I repeat date three over and over again. Like Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Yeah. Maybe that should be the movie that we could write a movie where you are. Um, it's like a Groundhog Day, but for a third date. Yeah, I like that. You go idea. on the third date like 50 times. And I can't get out of it. <laughs> and I'm still deciding. Love it. And then by the 400th time, I think I've fallen in love. Uh, then and I have to try and get out of it. It's the same person. Yeah, it's the yeah. same person. Love it. I think we all learned a lesson today. We did. We Don't solved dating. Don't order your own birthday cake. <laughs> and that's it for us. We'll be back on Sunday. Boom. Bye. The You Up Podcast is produced by Jorge Morales Pico, Sean Kilby, and Candice Maniga. Editing by Jorge Morales Pico and Shannon Sassone. Social media by Candice Maniga. Guest booking by Ali Friedlander. Be sure to follow at you.up.podcast on Instagram and send us your emails to uup at betches.com. Betches.